Next up, the Dodge Hellcat V8. Amazingly quiet at idle and in casual driving. Despite brute force, you drive it, not the other way around. Silly power, love it. Just the right amount of shake. And dear Lord, my bladder is weakening. Uh, so <laughs> don't worry, Chrysler, we didn't ruin the seats. Uh, but it was, I mean, it is life-changing, that much, that much torque. Um, so we had a lot of fun in the Hellcat. Um, just so you're aware, the Challenger Hellcat crept in under the price cap by $5. Um, <laughs> That's with a $1,700 gas guzzler tax. Um, and I, ch I, I did a little uh, research on this, and we do think that this is the first vehicle to make our list with a gas guzzler tax. We're, we still have to confirm that. But um, so uh, they didn't just slap a massive supercharger on a Hemi V8. They did some massive rework, uh, of course, to, to sustain that much force. Uh, you have to do a lot to it. Ram Diesel V6, sturdy, stout-hearted, very quiet diesel, smooth all around. Can't think of a better application of this technology than in a light-duty pickup. Car-like power delivery, cold starts are no problem. Latest CGI technology. Compacted graphite iron, very important block, that, uh, you know, the technology for the block that we're seeing in, in, you know, in, in a, a growing number of engines. Um, but the real story here is Diesel in the light duty pickup truck sector. Of course, they've had diesels, you know, at the heavy duty end of the market. Uh, but to me and to a lot of us at Wards, uh, the place to really sell diesel is in the full size segment. And um, you know, the Ram, they're selling 20% of the Rams with this engine. And that's considering that when it first entered the market, there was a premium of at least $4,000 over the base V6. So people are paying it, and they're paying it for a reason, because it's all about torque in a diesel engine, so you get that enjoyment. Uh, but they've dealt with the NVH issues. It's really quiet, and the, the you know, towing capability is wonderful. Um, so anyway, hats off to, uh, you know, to Chrysler there. Being able to have a 707 horsepower engine in a car that starts at $60,000, that's a, that's a big achievement in itself. So just the this, this sheer output, but then also all the engineering that we know that went into it with the crushed diamond washers and, and, and all the, all the, the, the extra, extra things that went into it, that was all very impressive. But no, there's lots of competition. There's a lot of great V8s out there. Absolutely, the first impression was how quiet it is. Um, it's uh, just, we test an awful lot of diesels, and it's as quiet as, as the diesels that have in really the luxury cars that we, that we test. It's also, of course, got a ton of torque, which is obviously what you want in a pickup truck. Um, and then it's overall fuel economy and, and refinement. It's just uh, uh, really stood head and shoulders above of, uh, just about, well, really, uh, the, the other diesels that we were, were comparing it with it in its segment, and um, it's the and then the fuel economy, long range, class leading uh, uh, range, that all added up to a really a ten best engine.